Hello everyone, it's Mohan here again. Today I'm going to talk about Monte Carlo integration in Python. So yeah, before going to the code, firstly, let me explain a, a little bit about Monte Carlo integration in brief. Okay, so let's say we want to find out the integration of f of x within the interval a to b then we can do that using monte carlo integration in which we divide x into various points y number of points uh, in other words we can generate n random numbers between uh, a to b and then we just find out the sum of that uh, function within those points x i and then just a difference of the upper my and lower limit over total number of points that we divided will give the uh, integration between a to b in the monte carlo integration okay so uh, I want to give one example uh, where the function would be 7x minus 8.5 x square uh, I'm sorry this is mistake x square not 22 here and then yeah, here too okay all right so yeah, I'll give example of uh, 7x minus 8.5x squared plus 3xq uh, in the limit 0 to 2. So I want to integrate this using Monte Carlo integration. So if you want to do the Monte Carlo integration in Python, then uh, you can follow these five algorithms. So first, uh, define the function. Our function would be this one here and then define the limits and then number this capital n so my limit would be 0 to 2 so lower limit would be 0 and upper limit would be 2 and then i can generate uh any number to divide this uh, the x between a to b into the points various points and then in the third step we generate random numbers between that a to b we generate young random numbers between a to b and then in fourth step we will do this summation uh, within that generated random numbers and then finally in step five we multiply that summation by this to get the required integration value all right let's do this in python so before doing anything in python i need to import the packages that i want so i'm not using complex packages here i'll just import the numpy so to import numpy i just need to write import numpy and then i want to use np as the shortcut so import import numpy as np all right that's that's the step zero i didn't include that in here so okay now let us define the function this is our function so let me define that function to define function in python i just write def and then one space and write the name of the function and then the function is yeah function of x and then put this and then what is my function this is uh, return 7x minus 8.5 times x square that means x to the power to the power is double asterisk so x to the power 2 and then plus three times x to the power three okay so this is my function all right i define the function let's define the limits of integration and then yen so lower limit would be zero and upper limit would be two 
and then I can give any value of yen and and find out what the actual integrated value is so I don't want to fix the limits here and I want to uh, I want users to give the limit of integration so I'll just write a which is the lower limit of integration is simply float or yeah I can do the integer as well integer of uh, input from the user sorry uh, input from user please input the lower limit all right and similarly I want user to give the upper limit as well so I just want to copy that I, I'm quite lazy I want to write it okay B is my upper limit upper limit okay and then uh, I, I don't want to fix the number of random numbers so again I want to do this from the users okay uh, input the total number of points you want to divide okay so all right so I defined all these three things I don't want to run it right now and then generate required random numbers so now i have this a as the lower limit b as the upper limit and then yan as the number of uh the total number of points that i want to divide uh, that close interval a comma b into all right so to generate random numbers let me define a random let's say yucks equals first I want to define this as zero and then for uh, I in range okay so since I have yen total random numbers to uh, get so I just write this for I in range yen uh, yux dot append okay this so I just want to get the random numbers so okay uh, let me let me delete this so within this interval if I want to generate the random numbers then the code to get the random number is yanp dot random dot uniform and my lower limit would be so it gives lower limit upper limit and then size so I'll just give my lower limit and then upper limit which is a comma B all right so since I want the yen random numbers so I'm doing this in the for loop so first I'll define yux as my uh, zero array so when I have this yen random numbers from this loop I want to append that or I want to save that into this X array so for that what I can do is yux dot append and then put this in the bracket so this basically saves these random numbers in in the name of yux so this is just the ND array okay so okay so this is what my random number is so okay so I divided uh, yeah I divided uh, yen number of random numbers so in between limit a to b so that means my yux will be between a to b and then the uh, the length of that x would be yen so this is what this code represents okay so now ha now I have yux and then I have all these things now let's find out the summation 
So summation is simple, just uh, yeah, do the loop. So that I runs from zero to yarn and then yeah, just do this. All right, so for that, let me define uh, a variable which is sum that equals zero and then so whatever I have in yux so for y I just define this or I, I can say k in yux so I have yarn number of x right here right so for all that value what I want to do is I want to find summation so sum equals previous sum plus f of xi right that's what the summation needs to be sum over i equals zero to n which is simply for all the value of x because i divided uh, x uh, into n intervals or n points so if uh, if i have value of x from this to this then if i find out the function of that particular value of x and then add it then i'll get the summation here so okay so that simply means for all the values of x i mean i i put name k for that particular value so for all the k in this x i want to find f of k which is uh, f of k and then if I add this to my sum 0 for the let's say for the first x this will be 0 here and then I will find out the f of x naught so that will be my sum sum naught okay so that will be my first value and then for second value of x that is for x 1 so I have this sum 0 plus f of x 1 and then again for the uh, third value of x that is for x 2 this will be f of x 2 plus previous sum that is sum 1 so this is how it is adding all the values of f of x at that particular x so this simply represents the summation of f of x from uh, i runs from 0 to n all right so now i have some here okay uh, so yeah step four is done so this sum will be this final sum will be my summation okay now the next step is yeah use the formula to integrate the uh, above so formula is simply b minus a over n and then this okay so that is integrated value equals all right b minus a over n times summation f of x which is sum so that's my answer let me print this the integrated value oh sorry integrated value using Monte Carlo method is or in python is and my variable is integrated value okay if i want to see the actual value its actual value is 3.33 okay so i i can see the error error uh equals this is absolute value of the 
3.33 which is my actual value minus integrated value divided by uh, 3. Point, I can do actual value and if I want this in percentage I want to do this 100 per 100 percent okay and then print sorry print the percentage error in the calculation is all right and my yeah my variable is error okay so let us run the code from the starting okay uh, let me import this and then let us define the function let us define the limits and the total number I just want you guys to see a variation in the uh, answer in uh, using while using different number of points okay first lower limit of integration is zero upper limit is two and the number of points that I want to divide that is the value of yarn uh, let me start this from okay uh, five I just want you guys to see because this is the statistical method of calculation so higher the value of uh, number of divisions act more accurate the answer should be so this is the lowest value let's see how much error we will get while using this method all right so okay now we have three values stored in the memory uh, let's generate the random numbers all right and then let's do the summation finally let's calculate the value all right so yeah the answer that we got from our method is 3.56 but the actual value is 3.3 so in this case we will have 7.11 percentage error okay uh, let me write percentage here as well which is this percentage okay yeah we can see percentage here so uh, just using five number of points it's not good so let us increase this from uh, I just want you guys to see the difference so I don't want to delete this so okay when we do the uh, okay let's change the number of points uh, lower limit is 0 upper limit is 2 and the number of points 100 and then yeah repeat all the code because you want to update that I don't want to change this because I want to compare all right and then hit this okay so this value is 3.11 about the answer and then the error is a little bit less so while using 100 number of points we are very near to the correct answer okay uh, let's do one more time so I want to use uh, okay uh, lower limit is 0 upper limit 2 let me do 1000 points okay and then while using 1000 points there you go so we are very near to the correct answer I told you right so if this is the statistical method so if the number of point is large then the answer should be more accurate okay let's do one more time and then we can wrap up this all right uh, again let's do lower limit 0 over limit 2 and then number of point let's do 10,000 uh, uh, let me do 100,000 and see how much change we can get all right so while doing 100,000 there you go answer is correct to three decimal places
all right uh while using 100,000 one more time final time all right so lower limit zero upper limit two number of points uh, this is hun ten thousand hundred thousand all right this much this is probably one million okay so one million what would be the chance okay now yeah this is pretty much close 3.333 okay so yeah this is how the value changes so you gotta use a more number of yen so that you can get the correct answer so all right to summarize this just uh just uh, get the random numbers large number of random numbers and then find out the summation of that particular function just get the difference of the integration limit and divide that by total number of random numbers then you should be able to get the integrated value and that can simply be done uh, using np.random.uniform in the python and using two different loops for the summation all right thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you have any queries or anything to tell me just write me an email which is given in the description below or you can comment anything thank you so much you have a good one